What's going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode on my channel. As always, I'm Jay and today guys I'm excited to talk about the new trailer for the Black Widow film coming out in May 2020 starring Scarlett Johansson as none other than Natasha Romanoff aka the Black Widow which of course as many of us know she actually made the ultimate sacrifice in the most recent Avengers Endgame film and guys one of her best performances uh, as Scarlett Johansson that is has been Natasha Romanoff whether as sparingly as it was in any of the Avengers films or any of the other standalones or as a supporting character in a much more bigger capacity like in the Winter Soldier she she has knocked it out of the park so to see her get her own film is pretty awesome it just stinks that it took this long for it to happen but the fact that it is happening is nonetheless awesome so in this trailer we actually get to see her do her thing and this apparently takes place i think after civil war but before infinity war and essentially she's confronting the kind of uh, group and whatnot responsible for her making her and apparently we are introduced to her quote-unquote family which I don't know if they're actually blood relatives or maybe they're part of a unit or a unit of kind of spies and espionage people that she worked with you had David Harbour I don't know who the hell he is and then you have Rachel Wise being the mother and then you have this actress whose name escapes me at the moment but she was in Midsummer. I believe that's how you say it. I could be saying it wrong. And the funny thing is, is that one of the takeaways of this trailer is that there's a lot that I don't know about, but a lot that I'm really digging. First of all, the fact that they're bringing General Thunderbolt Ross back again, or at this point in time, Senator Ross, is another cool aspect. I love the way that Black Widow's white costume looks, because usually we see her in a black and red costume for the most part. And then, of course, like I said, we have all these little things going on. And finally, we're actually getting introduced to the rumblings that were going on with the art and everything to the Taskmaster. One thing's for sure. Growing up as a comic book fan, Taskmaster's costume didn't really do it for me in this trailer, but I'm sure they're going for a more modernized look and the whole thing about him having the skull and kind of a hood. Maybe they're going to deliver on that completely in the actual film, but all I know is that he was a total badass in the actual comics and in different things and media that he had been showing up ever since then. So I'm very hopeful in seeing how they actually tie it into there. Admittedly, Black Widow is not one of those heroes or heroines that I've ever really kept up on 100%. But I also think that it's funny that her sister is blonde and in the comics there was a different Black Widow who was also blonde so maybe they can work her into being Black Widow now in a post Natasha Romanoff world. But overall like I said the action was brought it looks like they're gonna have some awesome set pieces and action pieces in this film. It looks very good how the story is transpiring. It looks like it's kind of uh, going to be the spark of something. Hopefully a trilogy for Black Widow. She definitely deserves it. And as one of those characters that has been getting a lot of love from fans, especially fans like myself. And overall, I think it looks like your typical awesome Marvel movie. And if for nothing else, we get to see Scarlett Johansson as the character one more time which is always good but anyway guys let me know down in the comments what you thought about the trailer did you like it did you hate it do you think it was meh i like i said i thought it was awesome again i'm going in blindly but the big takeaways that i got away from there is that we're seeing something a little bit different we're seeing more characters in black widow's world we're getting a little bit more development and of course we're getting new marvel characters introduced on the big screen which is not really ever a bad thing in my opinion but anyway, guys, that's all the time that I have for this discussion video. Thank you so much for joining me, and until next time, take care. Bye.